Brenda Kaler from Armenino, and today I'm speaking with the partner who heads our museums and performing arts sub-niche, Matt Gard, about trends he's seeing in the sector. So Matt, most of our arts and museums clients are currently closed uh, and don't have a reopening date in many cases for when they'll be able to resume operations. What are these organizations focusing on while they have this downtime? Yeah, I think the number one priority that most of these organizations are focusing on is purely survival. Um, as we know, museum and arts organizations, they've been one of the hardest hit sectors out of all. Some museums nationwide have started to reopen, but here in California, most have remained closed since mid-March and are only really now starting to get any clarity in regards to reopening. I think performing arts organizations have even more uncertainty, as early 2021 seems like it may be the best case scenario for many of them. For these organizations that have such a heavy reliance on program-related revenues, the impact has been really catastrophic. As a result, I think there's been much more of a focus on the budget, on liquidity, and cash flows in looking at each of, at each of these items on a much more regular basis. Many have implemented new budgeting or forecasting tools like our own Armenino Museum and Arts Financial Toolkit that allow organizations to change both assumptions and various variables to see how different scenarios may impact the organization in both the short term as well as long term impacts. That's great, Matt. What else are you seeing? Yeah, I think number two is just preparing for reopening, right? Making sure that the organization is safe for visitors is of the utmost importance. Mm -hmm. So various considerations that all of these organizations need to look at, such as cleaning and safety practices, potentially using electronic tickets and, and monitoring ticket times, touchless exhibits, and then trying to leverage the outdoor space as much as possible um, are all factors that museum and arts organizations really need to explore at this time. And, and at the end of the day, communicating these safety precautions to the community is very important as well. You need to make sure that your visitors feel safe returning once uh, your museum or arts organization does reopen. Definitely. I know you've always got a list of three, Matt. So what's the last one? So yeah, so third, I think many organizations have also used this kind of as an opportunity to really reflect on operational weaknesses, shore up inefficiencies. So a few examples that I've heard of include, you know, taking a look at the strategic plan and organization structure, focusing on people and resources and making sure those are adequate, potentially looking at how do we automate processes and is there more technology we can invest in to make our organization more efficient and effective as a whole? Well, it certainly sounds like they've been able to keep busy during this downtime. Um, thank you for that insight. And everybody, stay tuned for more insights from Armenino.